of Mighty Crown, the Far East rulers, including both dancehall music lovers and promoters alike, have been requesting the sound on the tour circuit for quite some time. Their wishes have been answered as Mighty Crown will be returning with a music mission on the Driving Force Tour, offering fans a full-fledged stage show experience. Manager of Mighty Crown, Garfield Chinborn, explained that the group recently took a break to pursue some business opportunities as well as to redefine their overall approach to entertainment. He added that for 2013, they will be transforming their DJ set to a complete concert style. For the months of March and April, the Driving Force Tour will see the Japanese sound gurus stopping in more than 20 cities in the US, Canada and the Caribbean. Following their western stint, they'll make stops in the UK and other European countries to entertain several thousand fans there. After a toss-up over a parking space and studio rights recently, Frank Ocean says he won't pursue criminal charges against Chris Brown. It was all alleged that Breezy had punched Ocean in the face or wherever. But Mr. Channel Orange stated that on Tumblr, quote, as a child, I thought if someone jumped me, it would result in me murdering or mutilating a man. But as a man, I am not a killer. I am an artist and a modern person. I'll choose sanity. No criminal charges, no civil lawsuit. End quote. Choosing sanity. Okay. While that's one thing Brown can put behind him, he remains under investigation for his role in the fight outside a West Hollywood recording studio. And although he said last week that he'll have nothing to do with it because instead he'll be working on his album, I'm kind of feeling that this is going nowhere. At least not for now. German filmmaker Volker Shana is seeking additional funding to complete his documentary on legendary Jamaican music producer Lee Scratch Perry. Dubbing the project as Visions of Paradise, Shana placed it online via kickstarter.com, which is an online platform for funding creative projects in hopes of attracting investors. To date, the director says he has achieved only a quarter of his $20,000 US dollar target. He added that there are a lot of cool people supporting it and that there's no way that anyone or anything can prevent them from finishing it. He explained that the concept of the film came 13 years ago after hearing Perry's music and feeling that there was a bigger secret behind him that was definitely worth exploring. He believes that in a nutshell, the movie can be seen as a guide as to how to change the world with music. Perry, now 76, is arguably Jamaica's and reggae's greatest producer. He is responsible for directing the musics of pop artists on some of the biggest hit songs including The Wailers, Mr. Brown, Small Axe, Junior Mervyn, Police and Thieves, Max Romeo, Warren of Babylon and Junior Biles, Curly Locks and Beat Down Babylon. He also worked with a number of European and American bands including The Clash and The Beastie Boys. Okay hype peeps, I'm Uriel Kim and that's the hype for one.